Hey guys, Kevin here to bring you a brand new video where today we're going to be doing day six of Horror October. And for today's film, we're going to be talking about Rabid from David Cronenberg. Um, this film is really disappointing, man. Like, I expected so much more. Like, why is it not good? Like, like, I really was hoping for it because, like, I love David Cronenberg, as you might know. Um, the Fly is one of my favorite films ever. Um, and also, Videodrome is good, and Dead Ringers is decent, and Scanners is alright. Um, but yeah, it's just like, this is such a letdown, man. Just because of, like, like, how ridiculous everything that happens is, and, like, how the whole, like, plot is built, and... The over-the-topness just feels, like, so, like, unwarranted, and I just, I was so, like, put off by it, like, so, like, this whole thing is, like, so weird, because it, like, develops in such a weird way, because it's, like, it, it starts off, you know, rather normal, because it's just, like, this girl got in, like, a motorcycle accident, and they wanted to save her, um, but she was at a plastic surgery place, so it's like they could only do so much, so they had to do like a skin graft thing so they could patch up the wound, but then, but then it's somehow, somehow, they don't explain it, there's, there's no like scientific explanation for it, it, it might be like technically, um, it might like technically make sense somehow within the movie, but it's so dumb. Like, because she got this skin graft thing on her, she gets, like, a fucking worm thing that grows in her arm that, like, can, like, bite people and give them rabies, and then, you know, rabies spreads all throughout the world in the town. But it's just like, what? How? Why is this a thing? That doesn't even make sense. And then, like, you know, you have this girl who, like, you know, carries this thing, and when she, like, hugs people, she, like, bites them with this thing on her arm, and it's like, what? Like, why are we, why is it like this? Like, what is going on? But then we get to this point where it's like, well, now rabies is spreading. We have this disease that's spreading amongst people, and, you know, try not to get bit, you know. You know, it, it's like a epidemic, like a pandemic or epidemic like, you know, we were living in, um, so that part of it is kind of interesting, but, like, how we get there is just absolutely ridiculous, like, I can't, I still can't, like, wrap my head around that, because it's just, it's so dumb, so dumb, but, you know, with this, I think, as, as much as this movie pisses me off, there are, like, a couple of good aspects about it. Like, the whole, like, theme of this being a pandemic thing and, you know, you know, how, like, on the news and stuff, like, the doctors are talking and people are talking about, like, how are we going to stop this thing and what are we going to do to combat it? You know, is it martial law? Are we shooting these things on sight? You know, all this, like, concept of how to handle um, such a deadly virus like this is is kind of interesting yeah but you know that's not to say the film doesn't have its problems um but also you know you have this girl who like you know only can like get food from people she, she apparently can't eat now because she has this thing in her arm and like yeah what she does is she's like very deceiving to guys um and she'll like lure guys and other people in and then like feed off of them so like she'll like go to like a movie and then a guy will like want to sit with her and then she'll just like wrap her arm around him and kill him um so yeah um i guess that part of it is interesting because you have this whole like deception thing with this girl um where she's like she seems like just like a pretty face like how could she harm anybody um 
but, you know, looks can be deceiving. And the other weird thing about this movie is that, like, it does not hold back um, on, like, nudity and, like, body horror. Um, And I don't know if, like, just having tons of nudity in movies was just, like, a thing for the 70s, or if David Cronenberg is just like that. But, like, this movie just, like, nonchalantly and relentlessly shows you nudity, and there's... There's, like, a bunch of it throughout the movie, and, like, I'm, like, I don't know why that needs to be there, but, but okay. And, like, you know, you know, like, David Cronenberg, you know, he kind of, like, specializes in that, like, body horror genre, and he does really, really like, he does really, like, showcase it here with, like, these people who bite people, and this thing that comes out of this person's arm, and all this weird shit that's going on, but, like, a lot of it feels like it wasn't earned. Like, so much of it is so bizarre and just doesn't feel like it's necessary for the movie. It it doesn't feel like it's worth having within the movie, um, this, this type of stuff that we see. And also, like, the ending isn't even that good. Um, it's very, like, anticlimactic and just, like, uncreative nothing exciting about it and then the movie just kind of like ends you know like all right because like this whole time this whole time the movie spends like this guy who you know rode the motorcycle with the girl and got in the accident um he survives like pretty easily um but she like needed this treatment with like the skin graft or whatever um so like for the longest time throughout the movie he was trying to reunite with her because, you know, she was still at the hospital and he eventually got sent home. He had like a broken shoulder, nothing too major. And then this whole movie like spends the time like trying to like reunite them. And then it just like comes to like a very anticlimactic end here. But yeah, they just like have like a scream match on the phone and then, you know, the movie just kind of like ends and you're like, oh, okay, well, that's not too exciting. Um, but yeah, this film is, um, a pretty big, uh, disappointment. I mean, I, I don't hate it, like maybe other people do, but it's, it's not great. It's not great. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give this movie a, a 6.1 out of 10. Um, and if you know me and how I rate things, um, I don't really give things like, below a seven all that often like if your movie is a six it's like not good like think of it like a letter grade like if you're getting a d minus on a test you know that's pretty bad um but if you get like you know an f minus that's also pretty bad um and then and then if you get like a 20 or something like a 2.0 that's like really really bad so like it's just differing levels of bad once you get into the sixes and lower so yeah this movie i can confidently say that i think it's kind of bad so yeah (laughs) um but yeah hope you guys have enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like if you have and i'll see you guys in the next one